this video, I'll be using the following products. Links are in the description. Milliput has kindly provided these products for me to use in this video. It is a company based in the UK and produces this amazing epoxy putty that can be used for virtually anything. It's easy to use and easy to sculpt. It is waterproof and sets rock solid. It also comes in many different colors. If you want to learn more about this product, be sure to visit their website. I always make sure I paint my figures with Arteza's premium acrylic paints. Honestly guys, the quality of this paint is really good. So I suggest you check the links in the description to find out more and order some for yourself. I'll be using masking tape, PVA glue, sculpting tools, paint brushes, lots of super glue, tons of time and lots of patience and a glass of water. Now we're all set, we can start this project. Hello everyone, this is Marco and welcome back to my channel. This is episode 2 of Making the Ultimate Rubber Saws T-Rex. Now in the last episode I sculpted the head and this time I am making the body. As you know I always start my figures by making the inside, the core of the sculpt, with masking tape. That's if you've been following me for a while. Um, I really suggest you go follow me right now, subscribe and like the video if you like it. Just so you know exactly what I'm doing uh, because I have posted tutorials in the past. So I always start with rolling some tape and putting it around the edges of my reference picture. Then the next step is just to fill in the space with rolled up bits of masking tape until you're satisfied with the volume of the piece. I highly recommend you go and watch episode 1 and uh, follow this series in the correct order, as it will make a lot more sense. In the first episode, as I mentioned earlier, I made the head. This is the body, in the next episode I will do the limbs, and so on. Later on in the series, I will include the moulding procedure and the casting procedure as well. I will also clarify the misunderstanding people seem to have and the confusion behind the difference between a sculpt, a mould and the cast. I've seen plenty of tour reviews on the internet examining the sculpt of a figure and referring to it as a mould, for example. Oh, the mold of this figure is very detailed, but I am absolutely sure that they're actually referring to the sculpt itself, because the sculpt is what has the detail, while molds, on the other hand, are just a tool to make multiple copies of the same sculpt. Anyway, I will be explaining this better in future episodes. For the next step, all you have to do is just flip it over and repeat the same process, but on the other side. What I'm doing here is I'm covering it all with a layer of masking tape and then I smother it in PVA glue just to consolidate the shape and prevent it from peeling apart. So in this next section of this video I'll be sculpting all the details of the body but first of all I glued the head in place and then started sculpting the neck. In order to sculpt the details I use Milliput. Once both part of the epoxy putty are mixed thoroughly I apply it onto the masking tape shape. I will follow the exact same step I took while I was sculpting the head. So I just apply the milliput, smooth it out, then sculpt the folds in the skin, smooth it out again with water. But this time round I am not gonna do all the fine detail while the milliput is still curing. In fact I will just sculpt all the folds in the skin and then move on to the next part of the body and do the same. Then once all that's done, I will be scoring all the details in using a Stanley knife. I won't spoil it now, you'll just have to see until later on. I hope you enjoy this time lapse of me sculpting the folds in the skin and the lovely crocodilian belly texture.
that's the neck and the torso done. Now for the next part, I am doing the hips. Now I'm gonna leave an empty space where the legs are gonna go. And to help me keep it completely round to aid the articulation, I'm using this spray can lid. Now I decided to use that because it was the perfect shape, a perfect size. All you need really is just anything round. I'll explain how I made the articulation in the next video when I'm sculpting the limbs. For now, I'm just gonna complete the sculpt of the body, including the tail. Okay, once all smoothed out, just leave it to set completely hard and then it is texturing time. Now I've already done it on one side just to see how it works and how it would come out and it worked out lovely. I also painted it grey just to see how the texture would look like with paint on it and I'm happy with it so I decided to move on to the other side. I am just scoring lots and lots and lots of lines kind of following the folds in the skin but also random ones as well just to add more and more texture. Then I use this abrasive uh, sponge I think you use in the kitchen to, to, to clean plates and stuff. Uh, that's really really good because it uh, softens up all the texture and makes it look more organic. That's pretty much it. It's just repeating the same process uh, throughout the whole thing. Make sure you add lots and lots and lots of lines scoring with a Stanley knife. Be careful not to cut yourselves. I did cut myself quite a bit, <laughs> so be careful. You can do this wearing gloves if you want, just to add a bit more protection. So I was looking at pictures of the Stan Winston maquettes and of the uh, original Kenner sculpts and noticed that the Rex skin has a lot of bumps and kind of uh, osteoderms and nodules on it. So I decided to replicate that by using super glue. <laughs> it's kind of fun because I just sprayed the whole thing with uh, activator which uh, helps the super glue set a lot faster and using a toothpick I just added blobs of super glue and it set instantly. So that worked really well I think. And after adding tons and tons of bumps that's pretty much it. It's done. I painted it all grey just to have a look if it all worked together and it did. So this is ready to mould. In the next episode I will show you how I sculpted the limbs and how I've done the articulation. So thank you, thank you, thank you very much for watching and for supporting this project. If you want to help me even more, you can uh, support me on Patreon if you want. All the links are in the description. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like and subscribe for more. I'll see you in the next video. 
Hey, sick merch is available on Redbubble. We have t-shirts, mugs, water bottles, and other cool stuff, but that's not all. On my Etsy store, you can find my rubber saws as well as sign prints. So what are you waiting for? Just go and click the links in the description. I would like to give a massive thank you to all of my Patreons. Seriously guys, your support really does mean the world to me as it helps me do what I love for you. You help me buy materials and most of all, you give me a helping hand with improving the quality of the content of my videos. Even if it's just a small donation, every little helps. If you like my videos, please press the like button. And you could uh, consider subscribing. It's free. Oh, and don't forget to press the notification bell button because you don't want to miss any of my new stuff, right? I'm gonna say bye now because when you gotta go, you gotta go. I will see you in the next one.